Hi, Cindy here, and I have an angel message for you on this glorious summer day here in Canada. And yes, it's been a while. I think my last message was at the end of June, and then July was just an absolute blur. Um, I moved my dad up from Toronto to Northern Ontario to be with me, and that was quite a process, but he's here now. He's been here for just over a week, and he's loving it. So I'm so, so happy about that. And yeah, I've put this message, I typed it up with my computer and printed it out because normally I hand write them onto like cue cards and read them from that because then they blow less in the wind, but they're getting too long. The messages are longer and longer and it's much more tedious to hand write it in than it is to type it. So I'm timing it, but I don't like using the paper. So I'm going to have to figure out if I, maybe I'll bring my iPad out here or something, but I'll figure it out. But for today, it's on paper. Okay. There is a new opportunity coming into your awareness. This new opportunity is something that is going to bring you a new understanding of your soul's energy. This new opportunity may arrive in many different ways. For some of you, this will be a new connection with a person you feel instantly bonded with. This instant bond will help you to understand your soul's energy because as you begin to get to know this person, they will reflect some of your soul's energy back to you. Pay attention to what is reflected and pay attention to what you are drawn towards. There are signs within your own experience of this new bond with this person. Your soul is speaking to you through everything you experience. For others, this opportunity will present itself as a new experience. You may suddenly feel drawn to move in a new direction and experience something completely new. This may be a retreat or a workshop or a new book with information, or you may feel drawn to go to a new area in your own part of the world. Or you may be drawn to travel afar. These are all opportunities to begin to understand more about your own soul's energy. Some people may be feeling a very strong pull to simply be. This is also an opportunity to begin to understand more about who you truly are. Be open to your own soul speaking to you. If you are listening, there are messages being relayed to you. The summer is a magical time in the Northern Hemisphere. The winter is a magical time in the Southern Hemisphere. When the energies are in these extreme seasons, even when you live in an area that is not experiencing the extremes these seasons can offer, the energies of these extreme seasons and being in the middle of these seasons is a magical time. This occurs during July and August, and it also occurs during January and February. These months are magical months for growth. These are months when you may notice that there are less messages coming to you from outside of you. These are times when people are invited to go within and to learn more about themselves 
by listening to their own soul's guidance. These are times when a person is highly supported in soul work that is individual and brings a lot of personal and important revelations. These months in particular support this type of soul exploration that is an individual experience. If you look back on your life, you may see that these times, deep in the extremes of the most extreme seasons on earth, are times when people are supported in their own soul exploration. You may have noticed that there are times when people are supported to experience growth in community and in groups with others. And there are times when people are supported in their own soul's growth individually. The extremes of the most extreme seasons are the most supported times for personal soul growth with a focus on individual growth experiences. The shoulder seasons, the gentler spring and fall seasons, in the height of these seasons is a time that is supportive of group and community soul growth. These seasons are optimal times to gather with others and experience soul growth in a kindred community. This does not mean that these energies are exclusive of each other. These energies are always present with each other and there is always community growth and individual growth happening at all times. We are talking about specific times in Earth's cycles that are highly supportive of soul growth in these two different areas. This may explain why some of you have been feeling like there is not a lot of support for community growth at this time. Right now, the focus is on individual soul growth. You are always supported in all areas of growth. However, the most supported area at this time is individual soul growth. This opportunity that is coming your way will bring you an opportunity to see your own soul energy in a whole new light. You have been preparing for this for a while now throughout this period of focus on individual soul growth. This opportunity will be a culmination of all the work you have accomplished throughout this focus period. You will have a wonderful experience with this soul opening opportunity. So, wow, yeah. I love when these messages come through and they just make so much sense, right? And especially if we think back to a time when, you know, communication was an instant and we weren't, we didn't have this digital world that we live in. So the extremes of those seasons, right, when the temperatures and the weather was extreme, um, we're not necessarily gathering together, right, in the deep of winter and then in the excruciating heat of summer. We often find ourselves in individual circumstances, in individual situations. Like I said, especially if we think back to before mass communication methods. So yeah, it just makes so much sense that these energies and that type of growth, that type of individual growth would be highly supported during those times where you would find yourself naturally through the cycles of Earth being more isolated or having more time for introspection and that the shoulder seasons, the gentler seasons of spring and fall are wonderful times for gatherings and and community and all of that. So yeah, I, I just find that fascinating. 
because I know that that has definitely been my experience, especially since I've been receiving these communications for the last eight and a half years, I have definitely noticed a slower period during the summer. I'm also usually busier because we don't have this for all year. This is a very limited experience here where I live. So I'm often busy and, but in the, in the slow moments of that busyness, it's about a lot of introspective time and, and just navigating for myself. And typically in the last eight years, my angels and their messages, they've stepped back during those times. And then definitely in winter as well. All right, we have someone coming by on a quad. Yes, so I find it fascinating the different focuses on individual growth versus community growth within our spiritual lives, right? This isn't to say that we don't gather in the summer. Of course we do. I'm gathering with my family. I'm busy with my family. But as for my spiritual community, there definitely is a stepping back from that in the summer. And then in the winter, again, if we now, my winters are much more, I'm much more able to communicate in community spiritually because of our technology these days. But if we, if we think about the cycles of earth and before this virtual age it would have definitely been a time of personal introspection and isolation from others so it just i find it fascinating that therefore those times are highly supported in those areas and it doesn't mean we can't have community at different times of the year of course we can but it also means that we are fully and highly supported, more highly supported for individual growth in the in the middle of summer and in the middle of winter. And I'm actually going to a retreat this fall. I'm not holding a retreat. This is a retreat that I'm going to, and it's in the fall. Because when we're when we hold these retreats, we understand that in the summertime people are busy. They're busy with their families, and in the winter time travel can be difficult. And so when we're offering something, a spiritual gathering, in person to the world we do tend to hold those activities in the spring and the fall because they're you know it's a gentler time and people are more available but also it's like those times are so supported for that at that time it's just fascinating when you start to think of it all it's like it makes so much sense so I hope you've enjoyed today's message. I will bring another message as soon as I get one, but like they said, this is a time of personal soul exploration and growth. So I wish you all the best on your personal spiritual journey, and I will be back with another message as soon as I can. All right. Thank you so much for listening, and I hope you have a great day.